हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम टू इंग्लिश क्लासेस टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट यूनिट नंबर सिक्स लेट्स स्टार्ट सो स्टूडेंट्स डू यू लाइक एनिमल्स और बर्ड्स ऑफ कोर्स यस वी ऑल वी ऑल आर लाइक बर्ड्स एंड एनिमल्स सो स्टूडेंट्स यू नो एंड यू हैव रीड इन ईवीएस there are two types of animals first is domestic animals and second is wild animals so domestic animals that lives in farms and houses as like dog cat hen goat okay next is wild animals so can you name some wild animals so wild animals like a lion tiger okay giraffe bear etc so wild animals they live in forest and domestic animals the animals that lives in farms and houses okay so as well as you read in maths about a pattern pattern means the repeated design footprints of any animals also make a pattern also make a repeated design as like you are seeing on the screen the footprints of dog and cats make a pattern so do these animals speak in their own language so students do you have a pet at home have you play and speak with them can you speak with your pet animals can you understand animals and birds languages or sound imagine you are in a forest how will you speak with the birds and animals so student we can speak we can speak or communicate we can speak or communicate with each other by the languages okay we can share our thoughts or views through a language so you are seeing on the screen there are different languages english telugu bengali assami kannada malayalam tamil french hindi these are languages that speak in india okay so hope we can recall the movie jungle book in jungle book movie how a child mowgli how he loves the animals and treat them as a friends so it's here for you like a mowgli we are going to meet a little boy hiawatha in this poem so student hiawatha was a red indian young boy so now the question is what is red indian red indian is a term used for a north american people who lived in tribes red indian is an offensive term used for north american people who lived in tribes red indian is red indian is an basically term used for a north american people who lived in tribes so tribes means a group of people that have the same language and same custom for example in india tribes living in tribes living in andamans so red red indian red indian means this is used for north american people who lived in tribes so hiawatha was a red indian young boy he lived with his grandmother nokomis his grandmother name is nokomis so she told him about the she told him 
or taught him about the wonders around them, about the things around them. So, Hiawatha lived in the forest in a wigwam. Wigwam means wigwam means a shape as like a hut or tent, a dome shaped as like a hut or tent, as like hut or tent made with the dry leaves, skins, and mats. Okay. So his grandmother Nopomis, she told him about the trees insects birds and the animals as well as she told him about the stars so student enjoy this poem Hiawatha Hiawatha you know Hiawatha was a young red Indian boy red Indian is a term used for North American people who lived in tribes tribes means a group of people having the same customs same culture same languages so he lived with his old grandmother Nokomis. So his grandmother name is Nokomis, and he lived with his grandmother in a wigwam. Wigwam as like a hut or tent made with the dry leaves, or skins or mats. So Nokomis taught Hiawatha about the wonders around them. She told him about the stars, the trees, the insects, the birds, the animals, and the many other things. Hiawatha grew up to love them all. Hiawatha grew up to love them. Birds, animals, insects, and trees, all these things. He could talk to the birds and the animals. He could talk or speak to the birds and the animals, and they too. So students, let's start read and enjoy this poem. Then the little Hiawatha learned of every bird its language, learned their names and all their secrets, how they built their nests in summer, where they hid themselves in winter, talked with them whenever he met them, called them Hiawatha's chickens. Of all beasts, he learned the language, he learned their names and all their secrets, how the beavers built their loses, where the squirrel hid their acorn, how the reindeer ran so swiftly, why the rabbit was so timid, talked with them whenever he met them, called them Hiawatha's brothers. SW Longfellow. So the poet, the poet of this poem is H. W. Longfellow. So let's understand the first stanza of this poem. Then the little Hiawatha learned of every bird its language. So he learned very well every bird and language of every bird. He learned very well language of every but learn their names and all their secrets he learned he learned or know names of every birds and their secrets how they built their nest in summer how the birds built their nest in summer he knew very well how the birds built their nests in summer where they hid themselves in winter or where the birds keep themselves in winter for a uh, where birds keep themselves in winter talked with them whenever he met them so he he could speak or talk with all birds because he learned very well every bird languages of every birds so he could speak or talk to with them whenever he 
met them when he met with the birds and called them hiawathas chickens and usually he called them he called all the birds hiawathas chickens so next stanza is of all beast of all beast beast means all animal uh, beast means animals especially large one okay so of all beast of all animals he learned the language so he know he learned the very well the language of all animals learned their names and all their secret he learned or know very well the names and the all secrets of all animals how the beavers built their loges so student he know how the be beavers build their loges so beavers beavers mean student a semi aquatic broad tailed rodent a semi aquatic broad tailed rodent beavers beavers is a animals semi aquatic animals broad tailed rodent so semi aquatic semi aquatic the animals that uh, living or growing partially on land or partially on water semi aquatic semi aquatic means the animals that living on partially on land or partially on water for example sloth elephants penguins and beavers so beavers are semi aquatic animals broad tailed wide tailed broad tailed wide tailed who have broad tail okay rodent so rodent means all rodents have a strong sharp front teeth as like a rat rodent mean all rodent or all animals have strong sharp front teeth as like rat so beavers is a semi aquatic broad tailed rodent okay how the beavers build their loges how the beavers build their loges loges for a living or for living or keep them keep them in a different seasons so how the beavers build their loges as like uh, birds make their nest in summer so he know very well how the beavers build their loges where the squirrel hid their acorn where the squirrel hid their acorn acorn means a fruit of an oak tree so how the squirrel or where the squirrel hid their where the squirrel keep their fruit of an oak tree okay where the squirrel keep their food okay how the reindeer ran so swiftly so how the reindeer ran so swiftly ran so fastly swiftly means fastly so how the reindeer ran so fastly why the rabbit was so timid why the rabbit was so frightened why the rabbit was so fearable timid means frightened talked with them he could speak or talk with all animals whenever he met them called them hiawathas brothers so he called all the animals hiawathas brothers whenever he met with all the animals whenever he met with beavers squirrel reindeer rabbit all these animals he called them hiawathas brothers and he called them hiawathas chickens whenever he met with all the birds okay so students this was the your poem